Hello everyone, today I am showing you how to do this peppermint sugar scrub that you can do from home and it only takes about three ingredients. So first off, in this small jar that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar, I am adding four cups of white granulated sugar. You can use brown sugar if you'd like, or something a little bit more coarser, whichever you want. Alright, and here I'm just using half cup measurements and I'm going to do eight of those. And then I'm going to add one single cup of olive oil. You can use um, any kind of oil you like. Um, you can use coconut oil. Um, Grapeseed oil is really good for your skin. You can, like, it's endless how many things you can put into this or not. With this, I'm only using three ingredients, but I am adding my oil in quarter cups just to make it easier to mix it up and make sure it all gets incorporated without too many big chunks of oil. And then to this I am adding peppermint oil. This is stronger than peppermint extract, you can use that as well, but peppermint oil leaves that cooling feeling on your hands, kind of like the menthol a little bit. Um, like whenever you bite into a peppermint patty you can feel the coolness, that's what the peppermint oil is. And uh, you can use any essential oils you want. You can just add vanilla in there, just anything you like. And then here I am adding in blue soap dye. Um, this will not stain your hands. Food coloring may, but if that's all you have, that's fine. Just add to the desired color. Um, I want mine to be like a nice baby blue because it's for my sister's baby shower and she's having a little boy. And. I'm just mixing that together with a spoon. Um, it does take some time and your hands do get really tired. <laughs> but um, I am just adding the oil a quarter cup at a time until I get to one cup. And then the coloring until I get the desired color. And then I'm just going to mix it all together and make sure it gets really well incorporated. And your final product, um, it should be able to stick together but not a whole lot of oil and it's not super dry. Um, kind of just like this. Um, after this, I do mix it all together where you don't see any white chunks. So, um, to use this, all you have to do is just wet your hands a little bit, take a small amount, and just rub it into your hands, into your cuticles, um, to make sure they get real moisturized. And uh, you want to keep scrubbing until you can't feel the sugar anymore. But here I'm just showing you. Um, also, my hands not turn blue because I use soap dye. Um, with food coloring, you have to be careful. And afterwards, your hands feel so smooth and uh, moisturized, and it just feels awesome. And it has that peppermint smell and that tingly feeling, which is awesome. So here it is, all done. And if you see in the picture at the beginning, all I did was tied some ribbon, baby ribbon around it just to show